Hey fellow crafters! So for this week's projects we're going to try to do things with birds and bees. <laughs> uh, we're going to make some, try to make some bird houses, some little houses, some bird nests, maybe some bee things. We'll see what we come up with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have this jar that the mason jar, the wooden mason jars that they have at the Dollar Tree all the time. And I'm going to take, let me see if it comes, oh, nope, it doesn't come undone. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to try to get this off. And I'm going to give the glitter a good sanding. Okay, so we got it sanded. I popped it off with a screwdriver. And the paper came with it, so it's fine, because we're going to paint it. So... We're going to give it a good coat of paint and then we'll come back. So good morning. It's a new day. This is one we started yesterday. This is the, the mason jar Dollar Tree wood cutout. And I started painting it yesterday and it wasn't coming out the way I liked it. So I went on and did the little frame with the wreath. Um, and then today I repainted it because I painted it, I think I was painting it that orangey color, just wasn't working for me. Um, so I repainted it white, and I think we're gonna try a mixture of two colors to get the honey look that I'm going for. So I'm gonna just play around, I might have to give it another coat of white. Um, I'm gonna play around with the colors, see what we come up with, and we'll come back. Okay, so we have our wood honey pot, I guess, ready to go. It's painted up. Now we're going to try something I've never done before. We're going to just give this the, the lid we took off. It's already silver, but I want, what I'm doing is just painting a little bit of silver paint on here. Because we're going to try to make it look rusted with cinnamon. I've seen the technique done, but I've never done it before. So we're just gonna try it. So I have my cinnamon, just a little bit. Gonna dab some paint, some cinnamon. I think I need to put more cinnamon. Now, this isn't working like it does for the people that I've seen do it. Maybe I need to put more paint. It smells good. <laughs> so there's that. kind of it kind of looks rusty it kind of gave it a rusted look okay I don't think I can use the paintbrush I think I'm just gonna have to sprinkle it on yeah that didn't come out bad at all I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to get it where you can see it it's pretty stuck in there too, so we'll let that dry in there and we'll put a clear coat on it and then we'll attach it back to the top. So we have our mason jar painted and we have our metal top. It's dried now, so we're gonna glue that on right now. So we're gonna take and run a bead of glue Hold that for a minute, press it down firmly, and that's done. And then I printed out a, I printed out some words. So we have farm fresh. We'll just put it on there and see where everything falls. We have 
local, pure, and raw. We have this really pretty bee. I'm not sure which way it goes. I think this way. And then we have the word honey. So that looks like a pretty good layout. So let's get some Maj Paj and put it on there. One other thing I wanted to check. I should have done this first. that down sorry about that the glue stick is a little long and I hit the camera so we have our twine on the top we have our metal piece down and now I'm gonna try to put this farm fresh and I use the technique of whoop, that's coming up with color in it we don't want that I use the technique of the tissue paper which it's really flimsy so I think we have one shot of getting it down straight so we put a good coating on there try to pick it up without tearing it I think that's about as close as we're going to get. Tap it down a little bit. Now we want to do make sure that's straight. another good coat down and sorry if you can't see what I'm doing make sure that's straight tap it down now we have this really pretty bee Very hard to pick up this tissue paper. We want to get him centered. Let's use a bigger, bigger brush. Get a good heavy duty coat on there. Pick a Barbie. There, we got him down. I was really worried about him because he's got a lot of moving parts on him. <laughs> and our last thing is the word honey. Okay, so it didn't go down. It ripped. So I went and printed another one. And I don't think I can... I don't think I can um, cut as much as the of the white off as I want to. Because it's just too flimsy. So the white's going to show a little bit. It looked better without the white. But... You gotta do what you gotta do.
I'm going to just put another coat on top to seal it in so it doesn't move. And there you have it. So we're done with that. We probably should let it dry. And then as you can see, I started to see what it looked like going around the edge while I was waiting. Um, so we're gonna put a little, we're gonna distress it a little bit. But we have to wait for it to dry. In the meantime, I think this little sunflower looks good right here. Put it up a little higher so we don't see what it looks like. We don't wanna hide the farm fresh. So we'll put a little dab of glue on the back of it. Put it right there. So we'll just give this a minute to dry. Okay, so we're just gonna take a paintbrush and some of the antique wax. I don't know what color this is, brown? Antique wax. Siri, Siri Antique, Sarah Antique. We're just gonna go around the edges. Just gonna go around the edges very lightly. Make it look aged. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get better at keeping it in focus. And there you have it. It's our little Shelf sitter. I guess I could put a hanger on the back. Make it a little... Here, we'll use the string that came with it. Just put a little hanger on there. We don't need this big of a hanger. Let's cut it. and now you can hang it up and that project is complete i hope you guys like it i got all of the well i just used word for the um the lettering and i got the b on graphics fairy she has a lot of really cool vintage looking bees and the rest of the stuff is from the dollar tree i hope you enjoyed this one days Thanks. where things aren't just going your way <laughs> This is the third craft I've been trying today. The other two, they haven't worked out too well. So I'm going to go on to this third one and hopefully this one will work. So what I have here is, this is this cute little, I don't know, house? I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's got this thing on the back like it's supposed to be a picture frame, but there's nothing to put a picture in or anything. And I was going to try to do it with, I was going to try to make something with this stuff but it's not working out for me today so i was going to put that on there and paint it white but this is just pretty good the way it is i like the the natural wood grain look that this has so what we're going to do is we want to make a little we want to put a little wreath on here and i have the little grapevine wreath i think these were like three for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. They came in a little pack, maybe three for $2, I'm not sure. 
and I'm going to put it on here, but I want to take a little bit of this greenery and hot glue it to it. So we're going to start snipping some of this off. And let's, let's see. So we'll snip a little piece off and I'm going to try to get it down in the grapevine. And just kind of let it go in. Well, we're going to try to put a little glue on there. It's been one of those days. Just nothing's going the way I want it to go today. I'm just going to hold it there for a minute. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's been a bad craft day. All right, I'm going to try to do this and see how I can make it work best and then we'll come back. Okay, I think I found the way to do it is you have to take just the little tiny pieces. See how the leaves get bigger as they go down? If you take the pieces at the top, which are small, cut it off and then kind of insert that into the grapevine and then kind of take one of the leaves and glue it down. So we'll put a dab of glue there, insert, insert the stem into the glue, and hold it while it dries, and put another little dab of glue, just a little bit, and get the leaf and hold that down. And we're just going to hold it until it dries. We're just going to keep working our way around and just making, we just want to just make a little greenery on the grapevine leaf. It's just to make it a little bit uh, more colorful. Sorry, I lost the clip of when I cut the ribbon and attached it to the top of the house. My son called and I don't know what happened. Okay, so I got the Mod Podge. I have my little welcome. I'm gonna just glue the tissue. I did it on tissue paper. So we're just gonna put some Mod Podge down. And then just stick it down. Make sure it's centered. Tap it down with our finger. And we'll let that dry. And while that's drying, get the Maj Podge off my brush. I like this brush. So I want to make sure that it's still good. Uh, then we're going to make a finger bow just for the top. So hopefully I left myself enough ribbon. Fluff it out. And then <laughs> I always do it the wrong way on the one side every single time. one even stands up. <laughs> so there's our little welcome house sign. So that's one project down for today. Let's try another one. We'll see if it works. I hope you like this one. 
I thought, I think it came out pretty cute. I like the gingham ribbon, the black and white gingham. Okay, so I wanna make a wreath that has a little bird on it and I can't find the color bird I want anywhere. So I found this, it's called a glitter bird <laughs> at the dollar store. And I took the feather tail off and it had like this glittery, I guess longer tail, I'm not sure. And I tried to see how it painted on the glittery tail and it seemed to cover it pretty well. So I'm gonna just try to use this paint that I mixed up and it's really not the color I want so I might go back over it but I wanna try to get the glitter in down first because I really want it like a darker purple color. This is more like lavender I guess. Um, so I might have to go to the store later to get see what they have in a more maroon, maroonish, more deep purple color. But this is what I have. So I'm going to just try to put a base coat on it anyway and see how much of the glitter shows through, how much of the orange. I tried to, uh, well, there was a, there was a cream colored one. Maybe I should have got that one instead. I looked on the internet, on Amazon and everything, and everything was either too small, too big. So I saw this at the dollar store and I grabbed it up. So I'm just going to give this a good coat. I want to try to make a grapevine wreath that has some berries. Something really simple. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, we're back to the bird. The purple covered up the orange glitter pretty good. My son was actually at the gym, so he stopped and he got me this burgundy color. So we're gonna just give the bird a coat with the burgundy, cover up the, the purple. It's probably gonna need two coats, it looks like. But this is the color, this is more of the color I was going for. And it does cover up the orange glitter for the $1.25 bird from the Dollar Tree pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, I looked online and everything was either too big, too small, and they weren't, they wanted to sell like three, three for nine dollars, three for seven dollars. I don't need three, I only need one. So that's one for a dollar twenty-five, a buck and a quarter <laughs> is pretty good. So we're just going to give this bird a coat, let it dry, and probably give it a second coat. Ooh, there's something stuck in there. And I'm going to try to make a grapevine wreath. My husband had bought me grapevine and to do another project, and I told him it wouldn't work. But now we're going to use it for this. So let's give him a couple coats, and then start working on the grapevine. Okay, so where we left off last night is I had this thing all in a heart shape. And this morning I got up and it just wasn't gonna stay. So luckily I didn't have to go to the dollar store. I had one of the dollar store wire framed hearts here. And I just attached it all with wire ties to the heart frame. Now, the only problem is I have these wire ties that I have to, it doesn't look too bad. It looks better than I thought it would, um, but I still have to get hide the wire ties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of twine and we'll start down here because it's the easiest place to start. And I'm gonna tie it in the back I'm just going to make a knot. Make a knot in the back. And then I'm just going to put it through. Okay. This might be more difficult than I thought. 
and I'm just going to cover up that wire tie and I'm going to try to do that all the way around with all the wire ties. I might cut some of them off if like up here, I have two right next to each other. So I'll just cut one of those off and that's how we're going to hide it. Just going to keep wrapping it, making it look rustic, but hiding the a two pronged effect, hiding the wire tie and making it look rustic at the same time. So we're just going to continue doing that and then I'll just hot glue it or use the end of it to tie it. But that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to go all the way around. Oh, and then, so one more thing. I did give the bird another coat of paint and I painted his eyes black and his beak yellow, put the feather back on him, put the clip back on him, and I gave him a little contrasting breast color. So I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on getting these wire ties covered up with the twine. And when I'm done that, um, we're going to, we'll attach the bird and everything else. Okay, so we have our twine. I tried to make it symmetrical. It's not totally symmetrical. I was able to cut a lot of the wire ties off once I had the twine tied on. So there are a couple still on there holding it on. So what we're going to do now is glue our bird. I want the bird to be glued, even though he's got that little thing on him. Okay, just glue him down. Misdemeanor, if you're watching, I'm definitely going to look into a wireless glue gun, a battery operated glue gun, <laughs> because this has not been conducive to good crafting with this glue gun and having the wire and the big long glue stick sticking out. So we got him glued down and now we have a couple little picks. I'm just going to kind of stick them in there and they're on wire so we can make them go whatever way we want them to. I can take this off. I lost my other little pick. There's supposed to be two of them. Okay, they fell on the floor, so I found them. <laughs> so we're just going to stick these little berries in here. And it's not going well. them a little twist a little it doesn't look bad well for just trying to use up grapevine that my husband had bought for me for another project this was like you know a dollar 25 for that a dollar 25 for that a dollar 25 for the frame and we'll put a little hanger on there Got some of this wine ribbon. Give it a cut. Try to get it. There's just enough room, I think, to get the ribbon in there. Might be a little long. I think right about there. So we'll cut it off there. Glue the end. wait till that dries there you go it's nice for spring to hang on your door might put a little ribbon here I'm not sure yet I was just trying to use that up so it's not bad it looks pretty good actually I'm happy with the way it came out okay 
let's go on to the next one. Okay, I love these little bird houses from the dollar store. I just, I think they're so cute and you can decorate them in so many different ways. I have three of them right now, but I think I'm gonna try the heart one. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna paint it this nice lilac color. And I have these dried flowers from International Women's Day. My work sent them to us. I thought that was very nice of them. And I'm trying to use up this um, boxwood. So we'll see what we can do with that. We're gonna make it a little bit rustic looking, farmhousey. So first I'm just gonna paint it. I'm gonna take some of this lilac paint. <laughs> I just use these, they're, they're from a cottage cheese thing, but they make really good paint holders. Hmm. So we're just gonna give it a coat of the lilac, probably two. Okay, well, again, a voiceover because I had the Phillies game on, but basically I just painted the roof brown and gave it another coat of, of purple. So I'm going to take sticks and I'm going to make a rustic roof by gluing the sticks on top of the birdhouse. I'm going to cut them to size and just glue them down with hot glue. I'm this birdhouse and then I put the sticks to make it a rustic roof on top and I have my purple flowers and I think I'm gonna put them along the front I'm just trying to figure out the best way to position them because they are real so it's not like so it seems that some of them are falling off. So I'm gonna cut them. Oh, you know, before I do that, let's get some of the reindeer moss. And I'm gonna put it along the bottom edge of the birdhouse. going to take one of these craft sticks and make it look rustic. It's got to be small. It's a small little birdhouse. Oh my gosh, that is just about perfect. I'm going to take some of the antique wax. very small so try to get it on all sides take a handy dandy wet paper towel that's just about <laughs> just about had it and we're just going to write with a Sharpie, we're just going to write home. And we're just going to glue it right above the heart. And there you go. I think that came out pretty cute. I love the purple flowers, the rustic roof.
the uh, reindeer moss. It all just makes it look very country. So I hope you like this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. 